Hello and welcome to this Dot Trust Maths key skill video on identifying expressions that represent odd and even integers. Now let's look at some even integers. Let's say we had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. What property do all these even integers share? Well, they're all 2 times something. So if we took some integer and we times it by 2, that's going to give us some even number. So in general, if n was some kind of integer, then if we double that integer, then we can guarantee that's going to be an even number. And in general, if we can do 2 times some expression in brackets that we know is an integer, so this was an integer, then we know it's going to be an even number. Now what about odd? If we look at some odd numbers, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, what could we say about all of these odd numbers? Well, they're all one more than an even number. So for example, if we had an even number like 2n, where n is an integer, 2 times that would definitely be even, and if we added 1 to it, 1 more than an even number, that would be an odd number. Or more generally, if we had 2 times some expression that we knew was an integer, and we added 1 to it, then we know that's guaranteed to be an odd number. So let's apply that principle to these examples here. Well, we already know that this one, 2n, is going to be even, because it's 2 times a whole number, n is a whole number, an integer, so that must be even. And similarly, 2n plus 1 we saw over here is an odd number, because it's 1 more than 2 times an integer. That is odd. So that one we're going to tick. What about 2n minus 11? Well, one way we could think about it is that we have an even number, 2 times an integer is guaranteed to be even, then we're subtracting an odd number. So if we were to do even, and then we were to subtract an odd number, what would that be? Well, that's guaranteed to be odd. Just think of an example, take any even number, subtract an odd number, you're going to get an odd number. So this is guaranteed to be odd. And if you wanted to put it in this form, 2 times something plus 1, we could do that. So let's do that over here. 2n minus 11, we want to write it in the form 2 times something plus 1, because then we know from this box that would then be an odd number. Well, we can put n, because that will give us 2 times n, which is 2n. Now we need to have 2 times something, such that after we add 1, we get minus 11. Now before we add 1 to get minus 11, we must have had minus 12, and 2 times what is minus 12? Well, it's minus 6, so we're just thinking backwards, and let's just check that. 2 times minus 6 is minus 12, plus 1 is minus 11. So we then put it in the form 2 times a whole number plus 1, and that's guaranteed to be odd. So, yeah, that's definitely odd. What about 4n minus 12? Well, to think about this in a simple way, 4n is guaranteed to be even, because 4 times anything is going to be an even number, and even minus even is definitely going to be an even number. So this one is definitely not odd. And the way more explicitly we could show that's even is to put it in this form. So 2 times an integer, we can guarantee it's even. So 4n minus 12, we just need to write in the form 2 times something to guarantee it's even. Well, 2 times what is 4n? It's 2n. And 2 times what is minus 12? It's minus 6. And because that's 2 times an integer, it's guaranteed to be even. What about the next one? 7m minus 10. Now, if you tried different examples, you could see it could be odd or it could be even. So if, for example, m was equal to 1, then 7m minus 10 would be 7 times 1, which is 7 minus 10 is minus 3, which is clearly odd. But if you made m equals to 2, then 7 times 2 is 14 minus 10 is 4, which is clearly even. So depending on what m was, we might end up with an odd or even integer. So therefore, we can't guarantee that it's going to be odd because we want to look for the expressions which are guaranteed to be odd. So that one's definitely not right. And then finally, this last one, well, we could use our common sense. If we had 10 times an integer, well, it's going to end with a zero. It's going to be an even number. And even plus odd is odd. So this one is guaranteed to be odd. And again, if we wanted to, we could expand it out and put it in the form 2 times something plus 1 in the same way.